uh, together with you guys and together with us to celebrate the second edition of this wonderful book, Handmade Electronic Music, The Art of Hardware Hacking. Uh, Nick is very close to the core of Stein. In fact, he's family, kind of. And, and, well, he's family. That's just how it is. And we're always very happy when he comes. And we're even more happy when he comes and he does his hacking workshop. Because we end up finding stuff like this on the floor for months afterwards. It's sort of stuck into things. You know, you keep finding like yeah, bits of metal everywhere. But more importantly, when the hardware hacking workshops happen, the whole building fills with crackles and squeaks and buzzy sounds and an incredible inferno of noise. And that's just the people screaming, right? Yeah, exactly. And, um, and more importantly, you know, the hardware hacking workshops are all about taking circuits apart, building circuits, but more specifically, maybe exploring them and experimenting with them and prodding them, sort of initially for their sonic possibilities. But as the workshop sort of moves on, it becomes more about building instruments, instruments that are um, both intimate and expressive. And the instruments that ends up coming out of these hardware hacking workshops, even if they're not finished, very often have this really nice range of being really complex, but at the same time oddly human, and almost always oddly plausible. And that's something we really like about instruments around here. So I don't really want to say anything more. I really want to give the floor to Nick, and I wanted to show some stuff. Now that I have the microphone on, um, I, I'm, I'm going to talk very little this evening because I think the last time we celebrated a book here, I talked a lot. <laughs> And Robert said, do we really have to have a party for the second edition? <laughs> <laughs> it's overdone. And I, get the, I get the message. Um, so uh, what, what we're going to do is um, um, think, Nick, before we... Here, here, here's what I wanted to do tonight. I, I'm really happy to be here because this is sort of the... Uh, this is the, the, the spring out of which so much of what I do um, in, in these hacking workshops that it comes from is stunning. So um, it is a Coles to Newcastle gesture to come to Stein and do a hacking workshop. I mean, it's, it makes no sense. But they're having invited me, I must make the most of it and make the best of it. So what I am going to do is I'm going to perform uh, two small pieces tonight. Both are loud and irritating. Uh, the first is loud and irritating and in four channels. And the second is loud and irritating and in stereo. I'm a, I'm a composer of limited means, what can I say? And uh, the first piece is going to work with six performers from the uh, workshop, which we did, um, for which I'm very grateful. And um, I should say that this... This piece sprang up of the guilt that only someone in my position could have, which is I began to look at pictures and read things about Yu Yu China, which is where all the electronics are recycled in a kind of a streetwise or maybe street unwise fashion where they simply hold circuit boards over a fire and let the lead drip out and then they pull the components out. One of the most horribly polluted places on earth. And so I thought, well, at my age, maybe I should start to make music with all of the garbage that we otherwise would throw out, all the electronic circuits, all the, the obsolete computers that were great 18 months ago and now seem so slow. Um, so I, I put together a, a sort of a piece in which we try to reanimate dead circuit boards, um, like Frankenstein. And um, this particular circuit board was not plucked from the trash here in, in, in Amsterdam because I didn't have time. I, I was I was rather busy. And so this comes from the garbage in Aix-en-Provence. And like all French electronic garbage, it is from the telephone company. It is a circuit telematique, it says, actually, on the other side. Vive la France. Vive la France. And so we're going to try to reanimate this uh, dead Frenchman 
and um, make music with it. And then uh, I'll do I'll do one other short piece, and then um, we'll probably watch if you're interested some of the video from the book. But I'll I'll talk about that afterwards. So let me see. Um, I never did get a chair for myself. Let's see. <laughs> There are, are, is there this chair right here. Look at this. I take it out of the front row. <laughs> you guys don't see this, know each other. <laughs> All right. So, um, I think. Our changeovers today are going to be very kind of sloppy and old school. <laughs>
the concert stand <laughs> uh, Thank you very much. This is the messy changeover of which I spoke. Oh, you can help me. harder than audio, I've noticed. <laughs> it's because there are more. As, as I approach, uh, <clears throat> no way. these days uh, I always seem to have a weepy somewhere in the program. One of those pieces I don't do a very good job of introducing. So, um, I will just tell you this is for Michelle.
That's what I get for high def. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, that, that concludes the, the formal part of uh, this evening's activity. And just as a last, uh, hopelessly uh, 19th century gesture, I would like to present a copy of this book uh, to Dick Vatican in the name of his uh, role here as a new director at Stein. Uh, because this has to be in the library since everything in it springs, as I said, from Stein. So, Dick, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We were the first to ever get this book? No. <laughs> but Second. the first to get it right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and we're now going to play, we can figure out the video. Uh, there, the, the, the book has a DVD in it, which includes, for those of you who didn't get to the workshop, thank you. Uh, you should be in a bathing suit to do that, but it's okay. Uh, it has a DVD of, of me doing little hacking workshops for one. It's like when a French chef comes to your house and, and does it. But more, much, much more importantly, I sent out a call for people to contribute work for this issue. There, there are over 120 artists represented in this, in addition to just lots of dumb technical information. And there are 87 60-second video clips by hackers from all over the world, including many, many Dutch citizens, um, uh, showing their work. And uh, it is a perfect baby pacifier. If you put this on a video monitor <laughs> down like this, because every 60 seconds it changes, which is about the attention span of the sort of six to nine month old child. And they will be much, much better for this than Teletubbies. So uh, if we can switch this over to video, we'll put this on here in the background. I encourage you not to just sit and watch it, but to um, uh, go get seriously drunk and just come in here when you uh, feel like uh, a little a little education. And it begins where it begins. It's all alphabetical. Oh, right. <laughs> from the north of England, well, Narch, and uh, there's it's hacked game consoles and uh, various other forms of sound. There's, there's really beautiful stuff being done with, with hacking old video games these days. This is a Sega system. Uh, I've got you to...